Now you advocate that an incumbent bank can increase its capacities in very specific areas without affecting other areas, but surely it's a complex challenge for them. I mean, technical developments, especially in heavily regulated industries such as banking, are complex and happen in big batches. So how can you offer them single modules targeting specific areas? Here come into the play the aspect of modularity. Namely, that such kind of capabilities are all loosely coupled meaning that there are no dependencies between each other, so that uh, you can only select the capabilities that you need right now. Only, for example, for, uh, for the financing use case for payroll. That has nothing to do with payment cards or anything else that you might also otherwise think to, to modernize around. So you identify the business case that you have, you select those capabilities, you provision them, and suddenly you, you realize that you have a new foundation in place. And that means that uh, uh, modularity provides a clear pathway towards a gradual change. That means that the risks are lower and also you can tap yourself into the new opportunities available on the market. So how do you implement a single module? What does the process look like right up until the launch? This is a very important topic and uh, reaching the successful go-live status, that means also having a very clear understanding what you need to do. That means that we provide also a very clear checklist of to-do items. And if you refer back to the example of a payroll uh, financing use case, that consists of capabilities. How do you onboard in a digital manner such kind of accounts? How do you make the product definitions, namely financing products, available? among which the customer can choose between, how you enable the di fully digital payouts of those, and how do you service in a very nimble and lightweight manner those. So that suddenly you realize that one use case consists of multiple modules. But surely many decision makers at banks would fear that this is a security or compliance compromise. How do you at Modular Bank guarantee that your solutions will tick all the boxes? Absolutely not. All the existing set of requirements that are applicable to the regulated entities already today, these are applicable to us also. And this is a level of hygiene we must comply with. And even to highlight that the aspects of scalability, security, compliance and regulation. These are the aspects we have tackled in a very holistic view. We are constantly chasing, uh, chasing and monitoring the changes in the regulatory landscape, the compliance things we need to uh, be up to date with. At the same time, we are very closely aligned with uh, guidelines provided by the central banks and regulators like ECB. Then on top of that, if you look, let's say, down to the individual team member level, every one of them is getting educated, uh, hands-on in terms of the security, de of, uh, security design, how such kind of architectures are planned, how we do our penetration testing and so on. Not to mention that we also include neutral third parties to make sure that uh, to keep the track on our work and make sure the applications are safe. And that's not even all. We are on top of that, we are uh, at the latest stages to also accomplish uh, ourselves to be ISO 27001 certified, which is an additional set of assurances to prove that we know what we do and our applications are secure. And work processes are also organized accordingly. Okay, tell us a little bit more about Modular Bank. Who's behind your solution? The wonderful team uh, behind Modular Bank, it's consisting of uh, five core banking technology mavericks from e-Estonia, which is one of the uh, technologically most advanced e-societies across the globe. And we have been winning a uh, number of international uh, awards and recognitions by the core banking applications we have done in our pasts. Okay, scrolling forward, what do you think banking will look like in, say, three years' time? The change is absolutely inevitable. That means that uh, the works done uh, at, at large have still uh, scratched only the surface, namely the customer facing journeys. But there is a tremendous amount of work and impact to be had to make banking much more efficient, which means that you need to dig deep and get down to the levels, uh, to the lowest levels of core banking. 
And that is a place where modular bank comes into the game. It is nimble front to back agile uh, testing facility, which you can push also in a very nimble manner to live, test out new ideas and make this change possible. We have a strong belief that the change is possible and uh, incumbents have a very big role to play in it. Well, for the moment, Revo Weibo from Modular Bank, thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much for having us.